the hit fans don't know what to say now and i've come to realize that after my last video on hit i probably got a lot of the hit meat writers extremely upset with me and y'all gonna be really mad at me today too because after today's video any idea that at the time of the tournament of power hit was somehow anywhere near super saiyan blue level will be positively destroyed it will be shattered and thrown out the window and there will be no shadow of doubt left for the for the art of plausible deniability now let's get into it because there was a time where kunshi held hit still and dispo started hammering him dispo was about to eliminate hit and Goku dropped down from the sky, stopped that blow with a mere Super Saiyan God hand. One hand in Super Saiyan God, a normal face, returns fire, completely horizontaling Dispo into Kunchi and sliding them back with Super Saiyan God strength. Now I know a lot of people say, well Kunchi was holding Dispo still by the ankle and that's not fair. Well, when you guys consider Hit's physical strength, you don't count on the fact that physically, he was absolutely no match for normal Dispo, right? He can't clench his muscles, match Dispo muscle movement for muscle movement. He can't even tighten his muscles before Dispo can get to him and punish him. That means physically he was way outmatched in needing to use the time skip, needing to use the dimensional hop and needing to create a nanosecond just so that he can even do that. He was way outmatched physically against normal Dispo. So in using those techniques to mitigate him being physically outmatched, I think it's important to still bring it up that, hey, physically, he was fodder to these guys. That's why Goku could land down in Super Saiyan God, catching the attack that would have eliminated Hit. That's why uh, when Kunshi laid out the energy mines, Hit immediately chose the shockwave. In fact, even told Goku that the energy mines were dangerous and not to touch them. At which point, Goku then cuts him off, telling him he don't give a damn about those energy mines, and it does not matter. He rushed through the energy mines in Super Saiyan Blue, letting them blow up on him and tanked every single one with no consequence. Now, we already know that as Universe 7 is the uh, second weakest universe that our heavy hitters know, they have to definitely conserve themselves. If Vegeta or Goku gets taken out, the rest, our lower, our lower warriors will stand no chance against the higher warriors from the other universe. That's a fact. So Goku, Vegeta especially, are definitely conserving themselves throughout the course of the tournament. Now, if we take into account and say, well, what if Kunchi was holding back? Because a lot of people would be, what if Hit was holding back? If Hit was holding back, he would have unleashed it at the point in time he was about to be eliminated. Because Goku had to come down and save him. Hit didn't have a transformation he could toggle to blow him off like how Goku played that guy who thought he was going to eliminate himself and Goku at the same time. This ain't that. So, I got a little bit more info that I want to go through with you guys. Let's get into the video. So we are gathered here today to talk about the clown who called himself asking me what I was smoking while explaining to everybody the painful truth about Hit the Assassin, the Universe 6 Assassin. Now, in my last video, I was discussing how Hit could never fuck with Kefla, which is an argument I've seen a lot of Hit fans, a lot of Hit fan boys have been trying to claim. Now, in my last video, I debunked this completely, and it takes very little effort to do so, but I talked about how in the rematch of Goku vs. Hit, Goku before the Black Goku arc was able to shatter Hit's time skip by just powering up, powering up in Super Saiyan Blue. So Super Saiyan Blue at that time was proven to be too strong for Hit. His time skip could not work on Goku's pre-Black Goku Super Saiyan Blue power up. Hit then tried to spam it as he always does and he could not hold the Kamehameha that Goku charged up. So at this point in time, you can clearly see that it power, Hit's powers don't work against current Super Saiyan Blue Goku, you know, at the time before the Black Goku arc. And you can clearly see that no matter how many times he tried it, it would have been the same. Now, later in the Black Goku arc, Vegeta actually surpasses Goku by a lot and puts the beat down on Black Goku, which Goku was incapable of doing. After the Black Goku arc, Vegeta goes back into the hyperbolic time chamber, into the room of spirit and time, and becomes a lot stronger than Goku base form. So Super Saiyan Blue, way superior to Goku's. That's one thing. So neither Goku or Vegeta can be affected by Hit's time skip 
at this point in time. That's one thing you got to remember. Now, a lot of the hit fanboys always try to go back in the past to prove that hit is beyond Super Saiyan Blue level at the time of the Tournament of Power. It doesn't work. You're working backwards. You're going back in the past. And they'll talk about Universe 6 versus Universe 7 and how hit managed to combat Goku. Well, first off, in the hit versus Vegeta fight, whether or not you're looking at the anime or looking at the manga, the concept is basically the same. So there's still a claim that in regardless of which iteration you're watching, Vegeta was using less than 10% of his casual Super Saiyan Blue energy. And although Hit did later force Goku into Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, this is the first time Goku ever applied Kaioken to the God Forms, to Super Saiyan Blue. So this isn't like later on we get to see Goku using it in a more optimized fashion, where we don't get to see the unintended side effects that we did from the U6 versus U7 tournament. Like when Goku used it against Jiren, when Goku used Super Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken against Kefla. Hell, even when Goku used it for a brief moment to shatter out of the pretty black hole, although he did stand up alone in Super Saiyan Blue. He was able to do that uh, when 17 and 18 weren't able to. We still got to pay into mind that before going into Black Goku arc, Hit was no longer able to time skip the power of Super Saiyan Blue Goku. This is before the Black Goku arc where Vegeta grows way stronger than Hit. Going into there, we see that Hit tries to face off against normal Dispo where Dispo was able to reach him and punish him before he could even tighten his muscles, before he could even clench his butt cheeks. This means Hit can't match him punch for punch, foot for foot. He just can't match him. Dispo would be all over this man. So Hit had to spam the hell out of time skip for him. So what he eventually had to do was faint the movements. Well, he did slowly start to catch up to the speed, not really catch up, but he started to adapt and started to figure out the speed of Dispo. And he would just try to make sure to avoid the most critical attacks. And he was trying to lead Dispo to the edge where he could then use his dimension hot move. Remember, I said I didn't even believe this move should have been allowed in a tournament of power as the Grand Prix said we fight in this realm, in this dimension. And here it is, hiding in a different dimension and using it to, you know, dupe people off the edge. Regardless, Kunshi comes in and saves Dispo, right? And then... You have to remember later on, Dispo has an entirely new level of speed that he did not use against Hit. But basically, Hit is causing hesitation, enough hesitation for a single nanosecond. That's all he needs is to use the time skip. So regardless of the fact that Hit can't blink his eyes twice before Dispo can reach him and punish him, he can still make him hesitate for that nanosecond and meet ride the time skip, right? This means, yeah, Hit found a way to just barely, barely try to measure with, with normal speed Dispo, but physically he is he is way inferior to Dispo. He is not physically able to punch it out with Dispo or deal with Dispo in that regard. Regardless, he used what he could, right? But we later on see that this same form of Dispo was completely outsped by Freeza. No time skip, no dimension hop, no spamming of movements, no needing of a single nanosecond to stop the time in order to move or battle it out with him. No, four form Frieza was sufficient, was, you know, superior to what we saw Hit did, even with the time skip. Now, max speed Dispo started to overtake Golden Frieza. This means max speed Dispo dominates Hit. Now, what form did Goku come down and save Hit from when Dispo was about to knock him when Kunshi was holding him still? He used Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan God Goku came down there and caught a blow with one hand and saved Hit. And if you still don't think that's enough and you're still smoking the dope, you still got the dope smoke in the air, right? If you still got the dope smoke in the air, remember when Hit was stopped by Kunshi's uh, landmines, Kunshi's ener energy mines. Hit then wouldn't come near him, decided to use a shockwave. He later on told Goku to be careful because those shockwaves were dangerous and he didn't want to get close to those. In which Goku told him it didn't matter. Charged headfirst through the shockwaves and tanked them. This was beyond Hit's abilities. This was beyond Hit's comprehension. This was beyond Hit's expectations. He himself didn't approach those. And he tried to warn Goku not to because he felt like it would be an issue. We then saw this Super Saiyan Blue Goku ran through those minds as if it was nothing. As if it were nothing. It is at most, not even Super Saiyan God level considering how easily Goku saved him. 
right? And then even Goku managed to kind of figure out Dispo a little bit with saying like, hey man, you're too linear, too predictable, and which Frieza even figured that out. So a lot of, and we know Frieza is a leaguer, so underneath Goku or Vegeta in normal Super Saiyan Blue at this time. And we know that Vegeta is actually stronger than Goku. Remember when Vegeta tried to run down on Hit at the beginning of the tournament and Hit kind of Zanzikin behind Botamo and Mageta and stayed away from Vegeta the whole tournament? So yeah, if you don't believe that Hit is no longer even Super Saiyan Blue level by the time of the tournament, the dope smoke is with you. Because he is by far underneath Super Saiyan God Goku. And I know a lot of people say, hey, well, the time KG used on G-Ren, G-Ren duped him. Jiren stopped him with his glare, showing that he really wasn't being held. He forced Hit into thinking that he had to take a gamble and finish.